Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the concept of the strong column and weak beam. So in this lecture we will be studying this concept. This concept is used while designing your structure uh, for the earthquake load or for the lateral loads. The strong column and the weak beam. Actually, when you provide the strong column and the weak beam, there is some failure mechanism that we should want to avoid this failure. Like this is the RC structure, consider this is the RC frame structure. Frame structure. So, this structure consists of beams, column and slab. These vertical members you can see, these are the columns, vertical members, while these horizontal members you can see here is the, these are the beams. So, what this concept says, this concept says that the strong column weak beam means that your column should have more stiffness in comparison to the beam. The column should have more stiffness, while the beam should have less stiffness. It doesn't mean that your beam should be weak or something, but it means in comparison to the column, your beam should be weak, it should not be more stiff than the column. However, your beam should be able to resist effector demand, but column should be more stiffer in comparison to that of the beam. Because when consider this the RCC frame, so this concept says that when your columns are the strong members, like these are the columns, vertical members, so when the loads come, the lateral loads, or maybe the loads coming from the beams or slaves coming on onto these columns. So when this column fails, for example, I'm just saying about this column, that when this column fails, it collapses like this. So your whole story, this story is going to collapse. This story is going to be collapsed suddenly. While if we, if we select this beam, when this beam collapses, like in this way, so nothing can happen to these columns, but it will be slightly, it will be slightly collapse these uh, columns and these beams. So just this beam will be collapsed, not the whole structure will be going to collapse side. So that's the reason that we should provide the strong column with the more stiffness than the beam. Because when the beam fails, there is partial collapse. But when the strong, but when the column fails, when this column fails, it means your whole building is, has been, has been structured on this column. So when this column fails, it means your whole, this story will be going to collapse in which, due to which these beams are going to collapse, which, uh, which causes the sudden failure in the structure. So we should must avoid uh, the, uh, this phenomena that we should not provide the weak column and the strong beam. Because the reason is that the strong column and weak beam have local failure of the structure. The local failure means only the structure member will fail in strong column and weak beam. Like uh, if, your, uh, if your beam fails, so only this beam will be collapsed. Uh, local failure, and it gives us the sign of failure, sign of failure. We should know that when the failure occur, sign of failure, and also we can see the partial collapse. In this case, we, have, we will have a partial collapse of the structure in which we can be seeing that only beams are going to collapse. Why? Now consider the strong beam in weak column. Let's my beam is strong. This consider this is my beam and this is strong and the column is weak. When the column and the load coming from these upper floors, the all column loads and the beam load is coming onto this column, right? And also the lateral loads are coming into this column. So what happens? This is a weak beam and there is a strong column. The column will, this beam will support load, but the column is not able to support load. What happens? That the, that the when this column collapses, your whole structure is going to collapse. So it means we provide the weak column and strong beam. So what happens? And to the opposite category, we will have a global collapse, global failure. It means the whole structure will be going to collapse and there is no sign of failure. No sign of failure means we will not be able to uh, identify the failure condition. It will happen suddenly, the suddenly collapse of the failure and the partial in this case, while in this case, maybe the full collapse of the structure. So it's really better uh, when you're doing the earthquake design, you should must provide the strong column and the weak beam so to get this type of the failure condition. Means the local failure only, we should know about the failure sign and there should be partial collapse in your structure. 
while if you are doing the weak column and strong beam you will get this type of the uh, collapse which are not good uh, for the RCC structure. So that's why that's the reason that why we provide the strong column and weak beam concept in the earthquake design. This concept is usually used while designing the structure for the lateral loads like the wind load, the water loads and the especially for the earthquake design. Hope you understand this concept and subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.